So in this lesson, I'm going to do another James Jamerson song uh, with The Temptations. It's Get Ready. Uh, this one is in D minor. So I'm staying, generally speaking, uh, seventh fret on down, but uh, using that motif, using the pentatonic scale here. Uh, so the intro, uh, it's really a straight ahead riff. So this is the main riff, back and forth between a D and a C, and occasionally going up to the G and the F, okay? Now there's a couple little details, and I'll show you all that stuff, but uh, that's, that's the general riff for the verse, for the intro, um, and the tag. So that's the majority of the song is that riff. Uh, in the intro, we stay. Until the fourth time through, and then you repeat those last two bars. And then instead of going to the C, you use the open A. And this is the verse, the actual verse where, where the singing takes place. Just a little bit different than the intro. And if you notice in the intro, I'm playing a little bit more staccato. The notes are a little bit more cut off. I have rests in the music. In the verse, it's a little more sustained. So um, you're going to play the four bar pattern, which is this. play that three times in a row. So that's a, what is it, 12 bars uh, before we go into the chorus, okay? So uh, the only thing to remember is after the G to the F, you're going to use an open A to go back into the D riff. Like that. Okay, so after three times through that four bar phrase, 12 bars, we're gonna go to the chorus. The chorus is going down to a G, or I'm sorry, down to an F. Okay, so at the end of the verse, you're gonna hit the open A and go down to an F. And it's, it's straight eighth notes from here. Um, let me break that down for you. So uh, we're going down to a, when we go to the F, and then you're doing a walk up to walk up the major scale uh, from F to the B flat. So that's when the chord changes to B flat. We play two B flats. Play the fifth, the low of B flat, the F, and back to B flat again. And those two eighth notes are tied together, so we're walking back down that scale to the G minor, and we're playing the fifth of the G up here, and then we're doing a, a chromatic approach to the C instead of the, a major approach, that would be up the major scale, we're doing a chromatic approach from B flat to C. But then we're doing a major approach going back to the F again because it repeats, okay? So the, and that's the first ending of the repeat. So let me do that one more time, the whole chorus. Uh, I'm gonna do the last two bars of the verse into the chorus, slow down a little bit. Now, 
notice on, on the score, I have written the high octave F and the low octave F. So when you play the first ending of the chorus, the first F note is the high octave and you hop back down to the low octave. So it's like this. When you're, when you're repeating back. So let me do that again. I'm going to play two bars before the chorus and go into it and do the first ending. I'll play through the whole thing here. So last two bars. Now, if you notice right there at the end on the second ending, um, I did uh, a slightly different version. I mean, I did it with an open D, but we're getting set up to go back into the verse, which is going to be that D minor riff. Not, not the verse, I'm sorry, the tag of the chorus. It's the same riff as the verse, but it's really, I'm calling it the tag of the chorus. That's where they're singing Get Ready. Um, and that goes for four bars. You basically do two times around. Um, this is really it. I mean, we have the little break at the end, which I'll show you, but but these two sections, if you got these two sections um, and, and the slight variation of the verse for the intro, you've got the whole song. Really, everything else is super straight ahead. So I'm going to play... Let's just say uh, four bars of the verse and then both um, endings of the chorus, you know, through the chorus and back to the tag again. Play it up at tempo this time. So four bars of the verse. One, two, three, four. back to the verse. Um, if you're trying to be really true to the James Jamerson tone and style, everything with the first finger. Not changing, not using two fingers, so you're always doing... And it should be no problem. This part is very straight ahead. Is He's not doing any of the tricky stuff. He likes to do a lot. Um, okay, so verse chorus, well, sorry, intro, verse, chorus, then the tag for a, uh, four bars, then verse two again, chorus two again, tag, but this time you play the tag for eight bars, twice as long. And then we have this, um, uh, the break, uh, what I'm calling the break. It's just, if there is a bridge in this song, it's this, I guess, but I'm just calling it a break because it's just pretty straight ahead here, so... So let me break this down now. Um, if we're thinking about D minor, the key we're in, if we go up the D minor scale, like that, this break all occurs in this part of the scale right here. Okay, and so after the break, you do a short verse, half as long. Um, then you do the chorus, and then you play the tag out. So it's really super straight ahead as far as the form is concerned, not very complicated, not, certainly not complicated with the parts, um, and not a lot of variation in his part. Um, great tune, easy to play, good 
good groovy tune and a good example of James Jamerson's playing. So uh, that's it. Um, that is uh, Get Ready by The Temptations featuring James Jamerson and his one finger bass line. <laughs> 